should do it more often. I'm gonna do it again next summer. Whoa, pace yourself. Sorry, I just haven't had that many reasons to smile. I can make you smile. I can make you bleed. <laughs> oh, come on, wait, whoa, wait a minute, Jane. We're just getting to know one another. Don't you get it, Ben? I don't want to know you. Craig, I need you to, uh... Hey, what's all the food and stuff? It's... it's for charity. Marcy Blake gave me the charity. No. <laughs> don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I said, what's going on? We're selling all these supplies at a huge profit after the hurricane hits tomorrow. You're making money by exploiting disaster victims? Is this a great country or what? Not when you take advantage of people when they're most desperate. It's illegal, it's immoral, and it's touchy rolls. <laughs> Don't forget what I said. You know what? I think maybe Dad's right. I can't take advantage of people. Well, I can. Don't you think selling food to starving people at an outrageous price is totally wrong? Of course, it's wrong. That's why I pay so good. Hey, chill out. Chill out. All right. You guys know the rules. When we can't agree, we watch the first channel that I flip it to. Bác sĩ đâu? Bác sĩ đâu? Ôi, tội nghiệp quá em ơi. Em đừng có chat nha. Em đừng có chat. This is just great. I've already seen this episode. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Listen up, Elvira. I don't care if half your family is in it. We're not watching Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, we were watching something else. We didn't understand it, but we were watching it. But I want to watch this, or doesn't that matter? Look, Jane, what you want does matter, but there's other ways of getting it, like asking us nicely. Forget that. I'm not begging you guys for permission to watch TV. Yeah, well, you don't have to, because we're out of here. Let's go. You said that once we got to know you, we wouldn't want you around. Well, congratulations, you were right. All right, let's move it, guys. The barometric pressure's dropping, precipitation's imminent, and those serious clouds are turning cumulonimbus. Hey, Brainiac, speak English. It's gonna rain, boy. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. All of Jane's stuff is gone. And so is she. I think she bailed on us. I can't believe Jane's run away. The girl should have stayed put. The girl should have given us a chance. The girl should have watched the Weather Channel. <laughs> Okay, two ponchos, two pair of boots, and two flashlights. That'll be $300. <laughs> there must be some mistake. Oh, you're right. I forgot to have the tax. Your mom and I are going to go out and look for Jane. Oh, I'm coming with you. Nobody is to leave this house. And no parties. <laughs> Look, I don't like dissing the home folk, but I think we should go look for Jane. Well, you're gonna go risk your life for some runaway who hates our guts? Oh, man, she doesn't hate us. All right, maybe she hates you. <laughs> but mostly, she's just scared. I mean, who knows where she's been or what she's been through? Weren't you guys scared when Mom and Dad first took you in? I heard that when Sue was adopted, she cried like a baby. <laughs> I was a baby. <laughs> Look, thanks to the Blakes, we've all got a second chance. Now I think it's time to give something back. All right, I'm with you, bro. Okay. Yeah, me too. All right, I'll go. But only because we're not allowed to. <laughs> You're in big trouble. We told you not to go out to look for Jane. We didn't. We were... Conducting a very important experiment. Yeah, we wanted to see if a bunch of minority kids could walk through the neighborhood in the hurricane without getting arrested. And? They couldn't. Thanks for bringing them home, Frank. They give you any trouble? The usual. Neil mocked me with big words. Marcy kept asking how much I make in bribes. 
and Sue accidentally stunned me with my shock baton. Good whining, Frank. You were only unconscious for, like, two minutes. You got some strange kids, Dave. Cray! You went out in the hurricane, too? Nuh-uh. I was too scared. The bathroom was all empty, so I took a nice, long, hot shower. Well, you did the right thing by staying home. Because your brothers and sisters are grounded for two weeks. <laughs> hey, where's Ben? Oh, he must be still out looking for Jane. That's it. I'll find him, even if I have to call every girl he's ever dated. <laughs> Mom's gonna be on the phone for the next 12 years. <laughs> Cray, hmm? you're such a liar. You were out there in the storm with the rest of us. Now Mom and Dad think you're a coward. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd rather be a coward than a hero who's gonna be grounded for the next two weeks. Okay, look, do what you gotta do, but I'm not ready to die. Second thought, go ahead and kill me. Yeah, if he doesn't, then I will. What's the matter with you? Only an idiot would be out in the middle of a hurricane. I know, you're here. Yeah, that's because only a bigger idiot would be out looking for you. As a matter of fact, the whole family's looking for you. The whole family? You guys risked your lives to find me? That's so... Brave? Stupid. That's what I thought. Come on, what do you say we get out of here? Let's go home. No way. That's your home, not mine. How'd you know where to find me? When I was little, I used to come here and hide when I was scared. Really? What scared you? Probably the same things that are scaring you. Yeah, I don't think so. Come on, Jane, what's got you so scared? Is it the storm? Is it the... It's you, Ben. It's you and your family. That's what scares me. I don't understand. How could you understand? I mean, how could you understand watching your mother dying on your sixth birthday? How could you understand loving one foster family after another and having none of them give a damn about you? How could you understand being abandoned, abused, and ignored? I mean, how could you understand anything about me? Don't! I do understand. Because your life was my life. Your story is the same story of every one of my brothers and sisters. Look, I know I've been trouble, but I just can't take being hurt again. How are you going to ever find anybody worth believing in when you don't give anybody a chance? Jane, you're never going to be happy until you learn to trust people. And I think you can take your chance on trusting us. It's pretty good. You should put that in one of your songs. I already did. It's called Hurricane Jane. I wrote it about you. Really? Maybe you can play it for me sometime. If we live. Don't worry. I think we're gonna be okay. The police say there's still no sign of Ben or Jane. Where have you been? Hey, I got a business to run. I can't believe you went out there and ripped people off. Well, couldn't go through with it, so I gave it all away. I'm proud of you, Marcy. For the first time in your life, you did something without making a profit. Hey, give me some credit. You still owe me $300. <laughs> Sue me. Ben! ben. Where have you been? Oh, we were so oh my worried. Gosh. Gosh. Come on, bro. What are you doing here? Ben convinced me to come back. Well... Ben can be quite persuasive. Did you kiss her? No. <laughs> so, are you here to stay? Uh, look, I'm not making any promises, but I'd like to give this place a chance. But let's get a few things straight. I go where I want, I date who I want, and I pierce what I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that kind of attitude, young lady, there's only one thing I can say to you. You're gonna fit right in around here. <laughs> 